Hello, this is Bill Miller and I'm going to demonstrate how you can bring an Excel file into OpenStat. First of all, I'm going to open an Excel file using Microsoft Excel. That file that I've chosen to open is called Kansas. So C-A-N-S-A-S -S is the name of the file. Excel will allow you to save a file as a tab separated file. So the first thing I'm going to do is resave this file as, save as, a text delimited file. Normally you would save a Microsoft Excel file, but in this case I want to save a tab delimited file. That name will still be C-A-N-S-A-S -S, and it's going to be stored in a folder called data. So I'm going to save that file and it will have an extension of .txt. I'd already saved it once before but I'll save it again. Now I'm going to close that file. And I don't want to change the ch save any of the ch changes. For now, I'll just minimize Excel, and I'll bring up OpenStat. Now, with OpenStat, I can import a tab file, and the file I want to import is a Kansas dot text file. So. I need to find that tab delimited file and here's one. I'll open it. And the labels are included and I now have the file loaded into my OpenStat program which I can now analyze. Now let me close that file and demonstrate another method for importing. I'm going to again minimize OpenStat and bring up Excel again and I'll open the Kansas file. Uh, I'm sorry I think I evidently opened the wrong type. I need to open an Excel file and there it is, Kansas. I'll open it. Now, instead of resaving it as a tab file, I'm going to drag my mouse over the values, not the names, just the values. And I'll go up here to the edit and click on the copy. Now I'm going to minimize Excel open up OpenStat and I'm going to need six variables which I've done by clicking on the add variable. Now it's at the first cell of where I want to begin pasting all of the data that I copied from Excel. So I'm going to come up to edit and I'm going to paste that block of cells into my OpenStat. I'm going to make sure that the variables are defined as floating point values by opening up the dictionary definitions and they are so I'll return. I do seem to have an extra column and so I'm going to delete that column using the edit delete a column. Now I can reformat these automatically to be floating point values with their decimal points by going to the edit and format grid values. Now you see we have the data copied but the variable names are new. If I want to use the original variable names I would have to go to the definition again and change each of these variable labels. I'm not going to do that at this point. I'm just simply going to 
cancel and to check to make sure that the data are analyzable if I can create a new word or can be analyzed I'll click on analysis the descriptive and look at the central tendency and variability of all of the variables and click on OK and it appears that I've got all six of them read all 20 cases and the means and standard deviations variances are all shown you could of course save this file perhaps under a different name to verify uh, that you can also save it as a text type file I'll save a text type file and I'll call it temporary I'm going to now close the file and I'll reopen it just to make sure that I was able to save it correctly and we need to look for the temporary file there's a temporary.txt that should be it and there we have it so again there are two ways to move Excel data into OpenStat one is to save the file as a tab separated file in Excel and import the tab file the other is to simply copy the values that you want to transfer into OpenStat. Thank you for your attention.